Hello you lot, right. You can see my shadow there. Hi everybody, welcome to YouTube. Right, coils, coils. How do coils work? Do you lot even know? I sometimes wonder. So we've got a concentric coil. You like that, don't you? I knew you'd like the concentric coil, you lot, because you like that. And then you've got, well, we do two coils. You've got your double D coil. Most detectors have this on them now. Okay. Concentric coil, when it looks into the ground. I hope you can see this. I don't know if you can, but if you can't, it doesn't matter. So there's a concentric coil. It's looking into the ground, right? It looks into the ground like that. Okay, the pattern it does. So if there's a coin there, it sees it. But it also detects all this ground here. The double D coil, from this angle, um, which is sideways, let me just show you my dais, which would be that way, yeah? The double D coil detects like that. So all that bit in there. Yeah? So if there's anything in there, it sees it. The trouble is with the double D, well, not, not, not the trouble, the, the advantage with the double D, let me just draw it again here, is like that, right? You've got your double D that way. Okay, that's your double D coil, like that, yeah? When it's looking into the ground that way, it sees a small area like that. Can you see that? I hope you can see that. So it sees a small area. So it's not detecting all this ground. It doesn't matter which way around this coil is. It always detects that large amount of ground. So in mineralised soil, it's, it's not as good. If it's not mineralised, it's great. But if there's lots of targets, if there's a target there, a target there, it'll detect them all. Do you see what I mean? Whereas this, if there's a target here, and one here, it'll separate them better. Okay? So that's how it works. There are your different coils. It looks like actually some Egyptian language now. Maybe the Egyptians did actually write in hieroglyphics. Is that what it was called? Anyway, so what happens then is, how your coil works, it has two coils. So your concentric coil has an outer, outer coil and an inner coil, right? The outer coil is a transmit coil. It TXs. It sends a uh, magnetic, electromagnetic pulse into the ground, right? It it finds an item in the ground, like this coin here, yeah? Finds the item in the ground there, and it, it causes an induction field on the coin, and then the induction field feeds back to your, re to your receiving coil on your metal detector, and that's how it works. And on these, it's, these are similar, but that one's got a, an outer TX coil and an inner RX coil. RX means receive, by the way, TX means transmit. On the, I'm not 100% gend up on double D coils but I believe one of them is a transmit coil and one of them is a receive coil so it transmits into the ground it sees a coin the electromagnetic field it could cause an induction field on the magnetic object I'm sorry on the metallic object and then it comes back up and the receiving coil says hello dig me I am a gold coin or whatever I am Anyway, I just wanted to clear that up. It's just something I just thought was interesting to me. And if nothing else, it looks like hieroglyphics, which is cool. We could be actually in Egypt at this minute, but we're not. Okay, onwards. Sorry to bore you with that, but I just I thought I'd add it.